As you will have noticed, we're not in the Škoda Museum in Lada Boleslav, but in the nearby village of Ratislavice, another location of the Škoda Museum, specifically in the birth house of Ferdinand Porsche. During the second half of the 20th century, the building underwent considerable changes. It was a bus company garage, and thus not a single window or door was in its original place. So, when the car company rebuilt the house, based on archive photographs, they wanted to make it look exactly as it was when Ferdinand Porsche was born here. We didn't want to have this exhibition in the birth house only as a memorial to a single person. But rather, we wanted to commemorate Bohemia as the birthplace of many engineers, inventors, writers, and visionaries. They made the Czech nation famous worldwide. The Hand Axe, the very first testament to mankind's technical prowess. Many years later, the invention of the wheel followed. Then the Industrial Revolution with the steam engine and the textile industry, a huge transformation. And a modern day example, robots and exoskeletons. This display cabinet is dedicated to the history of mobility. I would mention in particular the connecting rod, which converts sliding motion into rotary motion. Just a few of the exhibits dedicated to the basics of electricity, the Volt's electric pole and one of the first Czech electric motors made by Kolben. In this display cabinet, you can see the core exhibits, which I think are the very essence of what we want to show. Where would the ships be without the screw propeller engineered by Josef Ressel? The origins of genetics and Johann Gregor Mendel. The Chapik brothers gave the world the word robot, which today's industrial world cannot exist without. The famous entrepreneur Heinrich Valdes and his today almost forgotten snap fastener, rockets. Ludwig Oshinashek is the only Czech who has a commemorative plaque in the Museum of Space History in the United States. He was in all kinds of businesses. He even invented the arc lamp, although the one by Křižík is much more famous. And let's not forget the beginnings of mobility from Lada Boleslav. That's why there's the Loren and Clement motorcycle engine. 